So today I thought I'll just show you a speed test comparison between um, the home 5G Telstra broadband versus my um, NBN HFC ultra fast speed. So this is my um, computer that's connected straight to my 5G um, home modem. So you, if you're wanting to compare the two, um, I would find that I think the price for value that you're going to get with 5G versus um, the ultra fast NBN, if that is available in your area, um, you got to weigh it up. So <clears throat> the full price for NBN um, ultra fast with Telstra at the moment is close to 180. I think Aussie Broadband has it for 150 um, a month. Which is a lot um, and then you're comparing this with um, home 5g which is only 85 dollars a month uh, limitation of that is it, it is a one terabyte plan however that's almost half the price of um, nbn ultra fast as we're going to see here that this is the nbn hfc ultra fast speed and straight away, and this is connected straight to the um, router, um, similar to the 5G home internet setup I had. And as you can see straight away, the speed is insanely fast. So yeah, about 940 megabits per second, uploads about 40, 50. Um, already is about 300 megabits per second faster than my 5G. Um, the thing about my 5G is, um, I'm looking again in an external antenna to see if I can prove the, the speed there. Um, but ultimately, at the current stage, if we're comparing just, you know, uh, from Ethernet to computer, then the NBN HSC ultra fast speed is definitely faster than, than 5G at the moment. Um, now I'll quickly go through to the mobile test in a moment. So this is a, a Wi-Fi test on my iPhone uh, 12 Pro. And this is comparing um, pretty much, once again, the 5G um, home broadband with Telstra versus the HFC NBN Ultrafast. So one thing I'd like to um, give you a disclaimer is that the home uh, 5G broadband at the moment has Wi-Fi 6, which is the fastest Wi-Fi um, standard. Well, the NBN at the moment is still the Telstra Smart Gen 2 modem, and that is only Wi-Fi 5. So you will notice a big difference in that. So there's a limitation with um, definitely the speed uh, with the Telstra um, NBN modem there. So this is connecting to the, the Wi-Fi 6 of the home broadband. So, so as you can see there, that you, you're not losing much speed at all, even though I'm about probably about two rooms away from the uh, 5G home broadband modem that's in the office. So it's uh, it's relatively fast there. So let me change that to the modem for the. The NBN. Make sure it's the right server. So, what one thing you would notice as well is that the um, latency is definitely lower for the um, NBN. Uh, one thing I think the good thing about the NBN is that the fact that for myself who plays um, Call of Duty, um, it's good having that um, open NAT type. However, you are you will have a moderate NAT type if you are using the 5G broadband at home. So yeah, as you can see there, 
um, if you're within like line of sight of the the home home um, NBN modem, even with uh, Wi-Fi five, you're still going to get pretty decent speed. That's that's maximum capped at around about six fifty. Uh, while if that was Wi-Fi six, which is due to come um, in the next couple of months, uh, that you will be able to reach pretty much max. Uh, connection speed of around about 900 through Wi-Fi 6 so if you are willing to wait for that new modem to arrive with the, the new Wi-Fi 6 then I would definitely recommend you um, to wait for that and because there's limitations within the Wi-Fi 5 so so as you can see there um, <clears throat> looks like the NBN broadband worked a treat there and was faster once again and once again, we're, we're comparing pretty much two price, pricing points here. You got eighty-five dollars worth of um, costs for the five G home broadband versus almost one hundred and fifty, one hundred and eighty dollars. So, if you're willing to spend that extra money on, on the two, so yeah, the, it, it's definitely your choice. I, I, I feel that the the home five G is probably the more um, viable choice because you're paying pretty much half the price and you're only losing a little bit of speed and you could probably get a little bit that more speed back by maybe getting an external um, antenna or some sort. So <clears throat> another speed test I wanted to give you is the the fact is you know if if we have um, external antenna and let's say we're able to get optimal uh, reception this is how fast the Telstra 5G is itself as well. And, and you know, like so, so the fact that this will be more on par with what you'll get with the um, ultra fast NBN. Uh, but with the location of where my um, 5G home broadband is and so forth of that. I may be able to reach this um, speed a bit better. So yes, it's it's definitely your choice. Like, but I feel that the Home 5G, I think, is definitely that better value. Uh, at the current moment, I've I've only just got the Home 5G maybe um, for like two or three days now. Um, well, I've had the Ultra Fast for a while now, um, and because of the Wi-Fi 5. I've only really been able to get, you know, 600 if I'm like really close to the, um, the modem or if I'm far, it drops down to about 250, 300 megabits a second. While <clears throat> with the home uh, 5G, because of the Wi-Fi 6, I'm able to get it around about 600, 650 everywhere around our home. So there's no real drop off there at all. So I think um, once you really get the let's say um telstra home um smart modem gen 3 which does have wi-fi 6 which is due out in the next month or two i think yeah you'll be able to get 900 uh, megabits a second around your whole home which will be quite incredible but you know up to you if you think it's worth that price tag of 150 108 bucks um personally i would, I would rather pay 85 dollars and get 650, 700 at the current moment, and hopefully bumped up to about 800 with the external antenna. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.